Well, good afternoon, everybody. I've been having a trouble with, I think, the grandkids that played with my phone, so having a little bit of trouble. I'm going to make a green bean casserole today. Um, it's hard getting, actually, green beans. Um, I've been all over looking, and it's, a lot of places um, don't have them, so when I find them, I pick them up. Um, this is a pound of green beans, and I've snipped the ends off, and I have sprayed my uh, dish. This is a whole pound here that I've done. And um, I uh, put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. Pepper, salt, and um, we put onions in it. So I'm just going to grate a little bit. I don't want chunks of onion. I just want uh, the taste of the onions in it. So let's grate a little bit. This is a sweet onion. Okay. And I'm just going to put that on top of the beans. If you don't like onions, you don't have to do this, but we like onions. So, okay. Let me put this away. So then I'm going to, in my smaller casserole here, I'm going to put um, a quarter cup of um, olive oil. I'm just going to stick that right in here. Um, I made one of these yesterday, and it was delicious, but at the end you put it under your broiler, and I know somebody had come to the door, and I wasn't paying attention to my broiler. So it was just, it didn't burn it, the cheese got a little darker, so I'm making a new one today. And then I had taken some, uh, I fried some bacon up, because I don't like the bacon pieces in. I just chopped it up, and I'm going to stick that in here with the olive oil, too. Okay. And then I have some Parmesan cheese. Open it. Oops, wrong side. So I'm going to go with two, two tablespoons of Parmesan cheese. One, two. Okay. And I'm going to do one tablespoon of minced garlic. Well, that's not sitting in there, so. Oh, that one did. Let's go this way. Yep, one tablespoon of minced garlic, putting in there. This is really, really an easy recipe to make, um, if you can find the green beans, like I had an awful time. And let's see what else I need. Pepper, mozzarella, okay. Now I have set the oven at 425. Degrees. I know it seems like a lot, but it worked out really well. So we're going to mix this all together, and we're going to lay it on top of this. I told you I sprayed my dish. You don't have to, but it makes it easier for me not to have to clean it out when you're done. Okay, then I'm going to toss this because I want this on all the beans. So I'm just going to toss it around here. Okay. Try to get the beans going all the same way because it's easier when uh, you have to take it out when it's cooked. Okay. Let me work my hands here. Okay, now I'm going to put this, this is what it looks like, with the bacon and the onion. Um, you can use whole garlic if you would like. If you would like. Um, I guess you could put a anything in there you want. You could put some walnuts in there if you like. That would be good too. I never thought of that one until just now. So my oven is at 425, and I'm going to cook this 
for, it says 20 minutes, but yesterday I cooked it for uh, probably 25 to 30. Um, that it doesn't have to be uh, mushy, you know, the way, whatever way you like your um, beans. I like mine a little crispy, I mean my vegetables. So test it after about 20, 25 minutes. If you think it needs to go in there longer, leave it in there longer. Then when your beans are done and you're ready, please do not go after you do this step. Please don't go on the phone or go to the door. Stay here while your stuff is in the broiler. So you're gonna take some much, after this is cooked now, you're gonna, it's gonna go uncovered. After it's cooked, you're going to put mozzarella cheese, shredded mozzarella cheese. Um, it calls for one and a quarter, but you can put as much as you want. Then it says put it under the broiler for about three, four minutes. Keep an eye on it. Don't do like I did. It, it, it's good. We have eaten it. Um, put the cheese on top. You want it a little dark, but you don't want it as dark as I did it. So this is what it is. And um, I'll put that in the oven, 425, for 20, 25 minutes. I'll test it. Um, I did sort of take a spoon and mix it around just a little, not much. But I'm going to tell you exactly what I did here. So I had a pound of green beans. Um, you have the yellow wax beans. You can use those. I, we like the green better than the wax the yellow. So um, I put one pound of uh, the beans in here and I grated a little um, onion. You don't have to grate. If you want to just cut it up and have pieces of onion, you can do that too. Um, so I just put as much onion as I wanted to. I maybe put, um, this is a big one, so maybe a quarter of this I put in. Um, and then in a separate bowl, you want to put your olive oil and your, uh, it costs for one quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of uh, Parmesan cheese, the shredded Parmesan cheese. Um, I think I used the grated because I don't have the shredded. I think that's what the difference is, but that comes out okay. Um, one tablespoon of minced garlic. If you only have regular garlic, just make it small, stick it in there, you're gonna still get the garlic taste. Three quarters teaspoon of salt and a quarter of pe black pepper. And the bacon as much as you want. Um, I This is my second one, so I probably put a half a pound in here. No, because it wasn't whole. Probably I put six ounces in here. I think my bacon was only a 12 ounce and I made two of them. But you can put as much as you want in there. You're going to get that taste. And then you're going to bake it at 425 for about 20-25 uh, minutes, test it, see if it's the likeness that you want, the you know the firmness, and then you take it out and you put, it calls for a cup and a quarter of mozzarella cheese. You don't have to put that much in. If you don't want to, just throw mozzarella cheese in. Stick it in your broiler, but please, please watch it. Um, I would say about, it says four to five minutes, I would say about three to four minutes of that. Just because your beans are already done, you're just sort of browning that, um, the cheese on the top. And then uh, it calls for eating it warm. I've been eating it cold, but it's, it's really as good. But I like my vegetables, even though they've been cooked, I like them sort of cool and cold, so. So that's me today. Um, Thanks for watching. Please, anybody else has any other recipes, just send them along. I'm getting to the point that I don't know what to make that I only have a 15 minute slot to make this in. So, um, thanks for watching. We've had a lot of rain today. I don't know if you heard that thunder this morning. That was really bad about, I think it was about 8 o'clock. And sun's coming out now. That looks a little clear, so maybe we're going to have the rest of the day. We're going to have it nice, so we can at least go out and sit on the porch and stuff. So. so anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I do. 
don't forget Farmer's Market on Thursday, that's for you get your beans, um, 10 to 1, right in the middle of Forsell, you can't miss it, coming down the hill, both ways, Lodi or Sheridan Hill, you're going you're gonna to run into the Farmer's Market. So thank you for watching, any questions, let me know, any recipes, send them on down, okay? Thank you, have a nice day now, bye-bye.